of similar discriminations for daring to discuss basic human rights and joins us now. Uh, is it really that controversial in academia, Professor, now to deal and to talk to people about uh, just evaluating people based on who they are individually with fairness to all? Unfortunately, it increasingly is. These uh, issues of diversity and inclusion and racial identity issues are particularly controversial in academia now. There's a lot of resistance uh, to people who uh, want to buck what is the mainstream view in academia. Uh, Professor Abbott um, uh, wants to challenge uh, some of what's uh, taken as orthodoxy on college campuses, despite the fact that the argument he makes um, is one uh, that's held and, and um, uh, maintained uh, by probably a majority of the American people at large. But on a university campus, um, that's unfortunately taken as extremely controversial, so controversial um, that he's being uh, banned from being able to speak on college campuses. Yeah, well, not only so controversial, it's enshrined in the Declaration. It's what America was founded on, was this idea of individual uh, freedom and individual freedoms and being judged by the in, as an individual. Um, this is MIT's statement. We're going to put it up on the screen so we can lead it. We felt with the current distractions, we would not be in a position to hold an effective outreach event. I made the decision at my discretion after consulting with faculty and students uh, in the department. Uh, and knowing that some might mistake it as an affront to academic freedom, a characterization I do not agree with. Uh, well, okay, he may not agree with it, but what else could it be seen as? I don't think it can be seen in, as anything else. Um, so, so partially, MIT wants to argue the specific lecture that Professor Abbott was invited to deliver was part of a public outreach event. Um, and so because he was going to be speaking to a mixed audience of academics and also members of the public, uh, we should think about that differently uh, than if he was just speaking to a group of scholars. Uh, MIT has said so far, at least, that they're willing to invite him back uh, simply to speak to the department itself and some of the faculty members of that department about his research. But I don't think we can draw that kind of bright line. The effort here by activists is precisely to pressure universities uh, to exclude people that they disagree with, who express views on a wide range of topics, and in this kind of context, prevent them from even being able to uh, give, converse, uh, give talks about their core academic research, their mm -hmm. core scientific scholarship, to an audience that consists of other scholars. Um, that's just disastrous for what it is universities are supposed to do, and for MIT to cave into that kind of pressure in this context doesn't give us much hope or confidence that MIT is going do any better in other contexts when activists come to try to silence uh, some other scholar on some other issue. It's really terrifying when you think about it, when you start shutting down thought, because universities were the great places to discuss new and radical ideas, whether it's that the earth is round or uh, nuclear weapons or some of the great political movements have, have been born out of university campuses. You think about the education of the founders and how important that was to them in creating America. Why this flip now that universities are shutting down thought rather than promoting different thought? It really is a remarkable transformation. As you say, universities ought to be in the business of dealing with controversial ideas. Um, and that sometimes can be hard. That's going to generate some disagreements. It's going to generate some controversies. Um, sometimes there are going to be calls to uh, suppress that debate. What's really striking is how many of those calls are now coming from inside the house itself. Wow. Um, it's members of the campus community that are insisting that controversial ideas uh, be silenced. Um, and often it's students and administrators and younger members of the faculty um, who are particularly intensely committed uh, mm -hmm. to trying to shut down ideas and disagreements. Um, I think in part it's simply driven by the fact that they see themselves as having a majority position on college campuses yeah. um, and they want to suppress dissent. They don't want people yeah, who disagree I, with them to be able to speak up. I felt it a little bit when I was a student, uh, and I can only imagine what it's like now. Professor, your, your students are lucky to have somebody with the moral courage that you do. I appreciate you being with us and sharing some of it. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Our loyal viewers might have had a case of